The investigation into what happened picks back up this morning. Bryant Reed was one of the first reporters on scene when this story broke nearly 24 hours ago and did some excellent reporting. And now he's back there this morning to provide us with what's next. Good morning, Bryant. Good morning, Brianna. Yeah, help is both here and on the way. Governor Tom Wolf has signed a proclamation of disaster emergency that allows the state to support Allegheny County as well as clears any red tape in regards to funding. But the immediate help is and has been here for today. Uh, it's the National Transportation Transportation Safety Board. As a matter of fact, you can go ahead and see some of the crews that are starting to get ready. It looks like they're starting about they could start doing some of the heavy lifting in terms of rubble and maybe even getting some of those vehicles out of the ravine sometime today. The work of the 13 member team NTSB team will be doing. They described as peeling back layers of an onion to see where things ended up. It's like putting together pieces of a puzzle. They have a crash reconstructionist who will be mapping the scene and there are certain signs that engineers say that they'll be looking for in the next few days that could give them some idea of what happened. But for now, they say it's just a little bit too early for all of that before the collapse. The bridge repairs would have been upwards of a million dollars, but now the bridge could take around two years to rebuild and much more money. Our engineering team will look for uh, signs of stress in the materials that comprise the bridge, signs of fracture, uh, signs of deterioration, say a, a piece had worn, or uh, things like rust can also be an indicator. But again, I do want to stress right now, those are just general. We, we have no factual information on this collapse. Now, Pittsburgh City Councilman Corey O'Connor says that the city will lean heavily on state and federal funding for the repairs here. Now, while the crews work, we're not sure exactly what could happen today, but there is expected to be a press conference at some point in time, giving us updates as soon as we find out more information. So will you both on air and online reporting in Frick Park. I'm Brian Reed, KDKA News.